And once again, we have arrived in Guatemala. So Julio is the first surgical ah, resident. So how do you feel about being the first OBGYN resident? I'm very excited. Ah, awesome. So we got all this. Trying to figure it out here. Do you want to put the big ones? No, this is the Do you want to put one more up here? Oh, Rocky. Oh, yes, yes. We'll see ya. Oh, man. This is pretty crazy. Hey. Reminds us of high school. We were a little bit more busy this time, and so I didn't take much footage, but here's Dr. Berge teaching Dr. Katarina some laparoscopic techniques. And while she was doing that, I was with Dr. Torres, Cheque, Leque, and Pankeke, which is a Honduran statement. I hate that I can't do so for those of you in the United States complaining about not having a Nez Hut, look at what we have to do here. We gotta switch. So now we got the irrigation oil, it's got that on there, right? And then now we're irrigating. And we don't have that power irrigation thing. And come back here. Irrigating here. Again, Joel with the bag, compressing that. He's gonna get as much pressure as he can. <laughs> and look at the amount of pressure that we're actually getting from that. Wow. Really good. 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 Yep, now we yeah. switch yeah. it. We actually unhook it, stop the fluid, skip the suction, and now we're suctioning. So for people who like me, who love the suction irrigator, Now here I am with some of my work. This is at the end of a case after finishing a rather difficult cholecystectomy. A lot of people have chronic cholecystitis. Things are not quite that easy, but we have a great staff. And actually this is one of the patients who fared very well. And I'm thankful for their trust because this patient was the mother of one of our administrators. And of course, never let us forget the hospital staff. Right, so I was running every day. Yeah, so, Okay, muchas gracias. Bye. Bye.